And that's how Christian Elias, his nephew Christopher, and the astronomer Zacharias came back in triumph to the king's court. <sighs> As soon as Pearly Pate had taken a bite of the nut that Christopher had just broken, she turned into the most beautiful young girl one could ever imagine. Oh. But Christopher, at the very same moment, became as ugly as the ugliest gnome you can imagine. Oh. From that moment, it was he who had the big, bulging eyes, a funny chin, and a cotton wool beard. And Pearly Pate forgot that she owed her newfound beauty to Christopher and refused to marry him. For it had been agreed that she would marry him. Godfather, all you've told me isn't just a story. All this actually happened when you were young. And Nutcracker is your nephew. Well, but it's... why is he made of wood? You're a very clever girl. You're right. Nutcracker is my nephew. There. He's made of wood because of the spell the Queen of the Mice cast upon him. Oh. I can't tell you any more about it but I do ask you to do all you can for him. Oh, yes. I promise I will. I promise I will. Dresses, and your gold bracelet. Oh, take everything you want, you horrible thing, but don't hurt Nutcracker. <laughs> so, at last I found you, King of the Mice. <gasps> Stop frightening Mary. Stop, I tell you. But you watch out now. The commander of the troops has given me his big sword, and I'm going to cut your seven heads off, one after the other. <laughs> frightened any longer. I've just killed the king of the mice. But why are you alive now? I thought you were made of wood. Every night until dawn I become a living creature again. So don't let's waste any time. 
Let's go for a trip together in the kingdom of the toys. Nutcracker took Mary by her hand and told her to close her eyes. When she opened them again, she found she was on the banks of a big river. Nutcracker clapped his hands together, and out of the rose-scented water of the river, there came a lovely coach made of shells, studded with precious stones, all gleaming in the sunlight. The coach was drawn along by golden dolphins. Twelve little piccaninnies with mother-of-pearl hats and clothes made of birds' feathers sprang onto the bank and carried Mary and Nutcracker into the coach. The dolphins lifted their heads, and threw bunches of crystal flowers into the air. They fell around Mary and Nutcracker in a sparkling rain. And so it was that Mary and Nutcracker visited the kingdom of the toys. They went to Christmas Forest, where every tree glistened with its decorations of rubies and sapphires. They saw Jam Town, the capital of the kingdom, where the houses were made of sugar and the fountains flowed with lemonade and orangeade. In the middle of the great square there was a huge pond filled with strawberries and cream, where dolls, lead soldiers and toy animals were helping themselves as fast as they could go. Mary was astonished to see a wonderfully handsome young man appearing where the Nutcracker had been before. Mary, you have just spoken the magic words which break the power of the magic spell cast over me. Will you become my queen and help me to rule this kingdom of toys? For I am the king of this kingdom. in your sleep and smiling too. I, I was dreaming that Nutcracker had asked me to marry him. You simply can't forget your Nutcracker, can you? It was a funny present Godfather gave you. Funny? Well, Nutcracker, Mary, I went to the bookcase to get him and he's not there. Who can that be at the door so early in the morning? I'm going to see who it is. introduce my nephew to you. This is Christopher Drosselmeyer, who has just arrived from Nuremberg. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. Uh, Godfather, may I compliment you on your nephew? What a charming young man. Nutcracker, oh, I'm sorry, I should say Christopher, 
became a regular visitor to President Silberhaus's home. And when Mary had grown up, he married her and took her away to the kingdom of toys. Mary and he still live in the Crystal Palace, where hundreds of little people dressed in pearls and diamonds play music and dance to entertain them all day and all night. <laughs> 